what we've just seen. Is that right? Because I would say that differs with what Diane Swank was warning about last hour. I don't know if you caught it, but basically saying she thinks that the Fed's not going to be able to cut rates next year. Inflation is going to be persistently high, and a report like we got this morning demonstrates that. Well, persistently high. I mean, again, I'm still sticking with the analog of a post-war environment. That it, it... Personal finance has always been as important as any other subjects there are. Learning about financial management and how money works will provide an individual an essential understanding, appreciation, and discernment about future financial decisions. That said, financial literacy is a must for everyone, whether you are a teenager or an adult. There will always be finances that must be dealt with any stage of life because money has always been closely linked with our society and to our daily activities. A foolish financial management will only lead to ruin and stagnation, whereas a wise financial management will bear prosperity and success. Welcome, people of YouTube, to Cash is King. In this channel, you can learn about money and the necessary steps for your financial success. Therefore, for today's video, we will talk about resources that you could use to educate yourself about personal finances. But before we dive further, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Firstly, you can learn about money and financial education in books. The first on the list is a book called You Are a Badass at Making Money. This book is written by Jen Sincero. Sincero's aim in writing this book is to provide its readers a clear understanding in what place or purpose of money has in store for you. Furthermore, the author uncovers all the negative associations and notions that ordinary people possess with regards to money and ultimately, the book provides sound guidance with your financial success. Sincero reveals that you should be in charge of how your reality should take place, that it is you who should be able to control your money and not the other way around. That said, it is your rationality and practicality that runs the main engine rather than impulses based on emotions. Another book that you should consider is This is the Year I Put My Financial Life in Order. John Schwartz's book offers guidance in your personal finances and as well as in providing advice with regards to the necessary steps that you need to take for your financial aspirations to come true. The title itself may remind you of the numerous times you promised yourself about fixing your financial life but you can seem to do so. Hence, this book will help you in the particular aspect in achieving financial independence and as well as success with Schwartz's humor and wisdom about money. The third book where you can learn about money is The Psychology of Money by Morgan Housel. Aside from the obvious and specific calculations and variables that are always present with regards to our financial decisions, this book offers a much deeper and complex explanation of how money affects our decisions and, in general, our lives. Morgan Housel explains in this book the association of our psychology with money. In particular, this book explains how our psychological makeup affects our actions when money is the topic of the conversation, how and why we think that way about money. The next book is The Wealthy Gardener by John Soforek. This book is highly similar to Kiyosaki's Rich Dad, Poor Dad, which integrates parenthood as a scope for financial education. This book features conversations between a father and a son, which is highly centered upon conveying important wisdom, the virtues of patience, that said, Soforic's aim in this particular book 
is to provide the audience something that they could relate to through integrating life lessons on different aspects such as the importance of patience, which reflects financial literacy in a bigger picture. Aside from books, you can also absorb knowledge about personal finance in websites and blogs. The first on the list is NerdWallet. The launch of NerdWallet helped readers in different financial aspects, such as credit cards. This website provides guidance in one's personal finance and anything that a reader would want to learn about with regards to money and finance such as fundamentals of banking, mortgages, and retirement. Another website or blog that you may want to consider as well is Mr. Money Mustache. The proponent of this said website or blog is Peter Adeney, who advocated for the FIRE movement, financial independence, retire early. For the FIRE movement to work, its adherents must be able to save as much income as they could to their savings or investments. It could even be as big as 75% that said having saved up 75% of your income you can retire as early as 30 years old, like Peter Adney. Although having a big chunk of your income to be allocated to your savings is highly difficult, it will surely work if done correctly, as did with Peter Adney. Next up is the blog Gen Y Planning. This particular blog is highly centered upon millennials who are having difficulties with keeping up with their expenses and bills. That said, this blog addresses financial struggles faced by millennials. This includes posts that will explore the financial life after marriage which specifically discusses investment options. In connection with that is the blog or website Debt Free Guys. If you ever find yourselves struggling with whatever debts and payments, then this blog is perfect for you. David and John, the founders of this website, provide guidance and the necessary steps in handling your financial expenses. They share advice on how to break the shackles of debts, and by doing so, they provide you the step-by-step -step process in financial independence. What makes this blog perfect is that the founders, David and John, in one point of their lives, have also found themselves struggling with debts. Accordingly, they have prevailed with their financial struggles with debts and are now using their platform to share what they know to their readers. Other than that, they remarkably condensed what their blog is about by their tagline, Live Fabulously, Not Fabulously Broke. Before we continue further, share with us your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video so far, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Moving on to another source of materials that you can use to learn about money, this time around, we have podcast. To begin with, we have The Ramsey Show. Dave Ramsey is considered by many as financial expert. He is known for his popular anti-debt position which encourages his listeners to cut up their credit cards. Moreover, Dave Ramsey also talks about different aspects in personal finance. By doing so, his point of discussions ranges from different investments such as stocks and real estate to the American economy. He also has a YouTube channel which is also a financial channel aimed at giving advice. Other than Dave Ramsey, we also have the Clark Howard Podcast. Clark Howard Podcast enumerates the daily breakdown of what's happening in the realm of finance or the economy. He gives sound advice to people with regards to money and personal finance. That said, he talks about how world events can highly impact our economy and ultimately our money in the process. 
You may also want to consider Suze Orman's Women and Money podcast. Suze Orman is renowned by many as one of America's most trusted and credible icons with regards to financial management. Her podcast is highly focused on providing tips about saving and various spending strategies to women. However, what really set her apart is her number one advice. She emphasized the need of maintaining an excellent credit score, which is not only applicable to women, but as well as to everyone in the gender spectrum. Actually, her advice may seem to target women as her audience, but her advice is applicable to everyone of every age. Lastly, you may also want to consider Planet Money Podcast. In this particular podcast, your perspective and worldview with regards to personal finance will broaden. You will become enlightened and you will have a better understanding as to what money stands for and how it works. If the examples that were mentioned are not to your liking, then you may also want to try the method of online learning. If you want to learn more about personal finance, then you may want to apply for a course with Khan Academy. We are all aware that Khan Academy offers different subject courses which includes mathematics, science, and English. Surprisingly, Khan Academy also offers a course about personal finance. In this particular course, you will learn all the aspects of personal finance, which also includes retirement accounts, investments, buying a property, and paying for your college education. In relevance with that, you may also want to try Purdue University, which offers a course on planning for a secure retirement. Basically, in this particular course at Purdue University, learners will be highly engaged with a discussion of the idea of retirement finances and as well as other personal finances that correlates with retirement. Another online platform you can enroll in is at Marginal Revolution University, which offers a course on money skills. The said platform is founded by economics professors Tyler Cowan and Alex Tabarrok, which makes this platform well-known and credible. That said, this course offers a guided discussion and subject on all key aspects of personal finance. And lastly, if you want to learn more about financial planning for young adults, then you may want to consider University of Illinois at Urbana Campaign. The said program offers concise yet complete videos for those who are highly interested in beginning their personal finance journey. These are some of the platforms that you can use to expand your knowledge about finance. There are different platforms that also offer the opportunity for you to become financially literate. But what we have given are some of the well-known and common platforms there are. You may also want to try and explore YouTube for different channels that offer financial advice and tips such as the YouTube channel of Mark Tilbury and Graham Stephan. Nevertheless, all these platforms would tell you the importance of being financially literate that it is necessary in your journey towards financial freedom and prosperity. Make sure to smash that like button, hit that notification bell, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel for more financial life-changing tips. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Subscribe for more financial content to Cash is King.